What's up guys, GH here and it's time again for our monthly videos where I show you guys the games I played and this video is for March 2020, the month of lockdown, a lot of crappy food, you can't buy anything and no help from the government except a plastic of rice, <laughs> that's about it. Anyway, even with all that, we still managed to game on, we played a lot of games and with that said, here are the games I played in March 2020. Let's do this. Okay, first up, Ragnarok Online. Yep, I've been playing Ragnarok Online, Ragnarok Transcendence. I got most of the classes to level 90 plus. I got most of the items I needed from my mage, like pen card and heal clip. I've been farming the new frenzy fields they added for Orc Dungeon. There are a lot of good zenies to be had there. Mostly getting a coat or a chainmail with neutral property in it and then selling it for a few million. But after getting what I needed, Suddenly, I don't know what to do next, except farming, which is, I guess, good if I decide to participate in War of Imperium. But as I see it, it's a very laggy event, and I don't know if I'm going to do that, and that's Ragnarok Transcendence. I'm having fun playing it, but the content on that progression server is very few, and it's kind of getting stale. But anyways, if you want to play the game, go to playragnarok.com. Next game we have is Tree of Savior. Now, after testing most of the classes, the next thing that I was supposed to do is get a Varna Blade set and gear it up. But my friends kept telling me that save my silver because the Sabinosit this nice set will come. And I kind of believe them, but I still want to test the Ataka Legend set for farming. I've been farming a lot lately, and after getting about 15 million, I stopped. That's a day. I know it's not that much, I used to farm about 70 million a day in the glory days of Planium, but now Planium prices is crap. It's still kinda decent, but just do the hunting grounds farming, it's better and easier. All in all, I'm just waiting for the next major update and hopefully there is no complaints about it because I know for a fact that most people who got the Varna set will be pissed. And I don't know what to think about it. Should we stop updates just because of an item or what? I don't know. If you have the Varna set, share your thoughts on the upcoming update and that's Tree of Savior. If so happen you just heard about this game, you can check it out on Steam. Next game that we have is Marble Super War. To be honest, this is the major game I've been playing all month. I make sure that I get all the quests to get more coins so that I can buy the newest hero in this game. It's a very addicting game. The next hero that we're gonna get is Hela, the ruler of Hell and the sister of Thor. I can't wait to test her out. If you just happen to see this, this is a mobile MOBA game, but you can play it on an emulator. It's a fun game and if you wanna check it out, it's on the Google Play Store. Next game that we play is Resident Evil 3 Demo. Some of you might have seen the video that I posted about this game and I can say to you right now, Resident Evil 3, the remake is gonna be awesome. Right now I'm playing it on the PlayStation 4 and I'm already done with the game. The full game. Is it worth the price? Uh, no. Wait for a price drop and a sale because the game took about 5 hours to finish and it's very short and disappointing. But it's fun, I'm not gonna deny that. But wait for the price drop. If you wanna check out the demo for the game, it's on Steam and consoles. The next game is another zombie game and it's World War Z. I hope you got this free game. It's an amazing game to play with your friends. The Epic Game Store gave it away for free, but it's not free anymore. It's a heart-pounding 4-player cooperative third-person shooter featuring massive swarms of zombies. I mean like zombies that runs. 
and different kinds of them. Anyway, if you want to check it out, it's on the Epic Games Store and it's no longer free. <laughs> Turn the subway to Inwood. Over. Yeah, really? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe what the fluff? Whoa. They are zerging us. Coming up next is Rockman X Dive. This is a Rockman game for mobile devices. I played it mainly in an emulator but I couldn't really dive in as much as I want to because my controller is busted at the moment and I can't buy a new one because of the lockdown. I'm kind of pissed about that. I can't buy a controller because of the lockdown. Meanwhile, I see a lot of people who can't buy basic necessities and I'm worried about a controller. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad. Anyway, if you want to check out Rockman X Dive, it's on the Google Play Store. I'm expecting it to be snappy, but it's not. Okay, last game I'm gonna show you guys is Two Point Hospital. I've been digging on my backlog of games, and I found out I barely played Two Point Hospital. And at that time, I've been itching for a management game of some sort. So I played it, and I was it was relaxing and oddly a funny experience. If you want to check it out, it's on Steam. And that's it, guys. Those are the games I played in March 2020. Well, most that's mostly the games. I can't really include all. How about you? What have you been playing? Write in the comment section down below. And maybe I could get an idea on what to play next. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one. Thank you.